Hey there fellow wet shavers, Brian here with the Wet Shave Experience. Thank you for tuning in today's video. In today's video we will be using, I will be using, Holy Cow or Holy Ka, I think it's cow, but I've heard Ka as well, uh, Vor, um, I don't know if that's a V or a 5, but this was last year's Halloween release for them. It's still available. Um, I think it ended up being a year-round um, offering. So um, matching Splash, I opted with the Splash, that's the alcohol Splash. We are using for the first time the uh, Carve, uh, the new razor, and this is the aluminum. And with the red tip, this is a B plate, and it has a Nasset blade in there for the first use. I've got a PA Amber Aerolite synthetic brush. We're all lathered up in the Lancaster razor bowl uh, and ready to go. So let me wet the face, we'll get started. It's been a crazy week. Uh, I had some other Halloween stuff theme stuff planned for this week. Uh, if you watched my video on Monday, you know that this week is kind of a year on my channel. And uh, this week just has not transpired the way that I had hoped in the morning. Some work stuff, I had to leave early and all kinds of stuff going on. So um, anyways, here we are with this uh, shave. I will announce the winner of the last $20 gift card in this video. Um, so thank you for everybody. That was all uh, my 500 subscriber giveaway stuff. So I think we gave away five or six things on the channel uh, over the last uh, couple, two, three weeks. So um, would have liked to have done it in, you know, in a shorter amount of time. I just didn't get all the shaves in. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. I know we're up to 555 subscribers, so that's awesome. Um, if you're watching this for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you've been around for a while or you've been around since the beginning, thank you, thank you for your continued support. And if you like anything you see in this video, give it a thumbs up. I would much appreciate it. That all helps the YouTube algorithms, helps the channel, um, helps it get recommended to other people. So I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up. Um, <clears throat> so I apologize for, um, I guess, uh, kind of my absence, but those of you that saw my channel update uh, a while ago, you know that it's just a lot of stuff going on in, in uh, our household lately, and um, getting uh, videos done just has not been um, as easy as it was at one point when I was putting out more videos per week. But anyways, Got a lot going on here with the change in schedules, with the family and the kids since school started and a lot of stuff going on at work. I'll have to fill you folks in on that at some point. Um, but it's been a great year so far on YouTube. So um, you may have seen this razor in my unboxing. And I've been looking forward to using this. I actually shaved Monday when I got my video done. Um, did I get a video done Monday? I think so. Uh, Tuesday, I didn't shave. Wednesday, I did two pass quick shave. Yesterday, I did not shave. So that's how limited my time has been in the morning this week. So I'm working on two days growth here. And I only got a two pass quick shave in on Wednesday. So this boar I bought last year, it looks like it uh, seems like there's, well, it doesn't seem like it. There, There's definitely been a lot fewer um, Halloween releases this year than there were last year. I know like Hotel Cecil became kind of a year-round offering for PAA. This seems like it's a year-round offering at Holy Cow. Um, and then I know Michael at First Line Shave re-released Razor Ruby, although he updated the scent a little bit. It's the same inspired by, but I guess he got some new scent oils. I'm sorry, I had a problem with my contact there. Um, so anyways, just seems like, um, although there have been some, it just doesn't seem like Halloween has the fanfare this year. I think Strike Gold had Tallow Scream. They didn't come out with a Halloween release this year. Um, so anyways, this is a very nice scent. Um, it is the scent notes on this. this. This is not an inspired by scent. This is a, I guess, I don't know, for lack of a better word, I'll call it an original scent. 
And uh, this has got um, geranium, raspberry, nutmeg, saffron, oud, black tea, casmaran, uh, musk, leather, amber, and vanilla. So um, to me, it's, it's really, really nice. I get a little bit of the raspberry, not too much. It's not too gourmand. So if you don't like gourmand scents, I don't really think um, this one is super fruity or gourmand-like. Um, and then I think a lot of what I get to me, to my nose, is the saffron. The oud is there, but it's not overpowering. Um, I don't get a lot of the, I get a little bit of the amber, not too much vanilla, um, cause I don't get a, uh, too much of a sweetness on it. The scent is very similar if you've tried or, um, First Line Shades Kitua. It actually came out after this did. It was not a Halloween release, but, um, they smell somewhat similar to me, and I think because they share the the saffron and the raspberry note, um, I think the Kitua is a, a little more spicy and dark. Or not dark, but um, I don't know, spicier. And this is, seems to be a little bit lighter to me. Uh, on the scent. So not lighter in scent strength, by the way. Scent strength on this is probably about a five medium. Um, if I were gonna give it a number. I think I just sprayed my eye with this stuff. I don't know, I got something going on with my contact. I feel like I'm, my left contact either fell out or, or what. So, all right, before we get in this third pass, uh, let's announce our winner from last week. So here we go, we'll put that in here now. All right, congratulations, Tom. Tom, if you can contact me, if you're on Instagram, you can uh, message me on Instagram, uh, at The Wet Shave Experience. If you don't have Instagram, you can just email me, thewetshaveexperience at gmail.com, and I will get you that discount code for the $20 TRC gift card. So Gen Jason was generous enough to donate three $20 gift cards. So thank you very much, Jason and TRC, for your support of the channel and your just general support of the whole wet shaving community. Uh, Jason and the Razor Company have been super generous. Uh, and giving stuff away all over the place. So uh, very much appreciate that. All right, so let's get into the third pass. We're gonna be doing a quick shave because I think I've gotta get my daughter up and um, dressed for school for Halloween. I think that's gonna take a little extra time this morning. So this razor is fantastic. Um, shaves as I would expect from the carb. It's one of my favorite razors. I have the brass. I had not purchased the aluminum because um, the razor handle and, and, the, and the design looked very similar to the brass one I had. I didn't really think I needed a, an aluminum one. Um, although it did have the red base plate. So when they came out with this one with a totally different handle, and I don't know if you can really see um, very well on here. So this piece does not screw off. It's all just, I think it's just painted in place and then, um, or however they do that, I don't know if it's painted or however they get the color on there, uh, anodize it or whatever. And um, so it's a totally different handle design, although the, the, and the base plate on this one is black. I thought about getting the red base plate, but I didn't know if it matched the same red. Um, I couldn't tell on the website, but um, I just got it as it, as it came. Uh, they do have an, an option to get a handle with an orange, one, I thought about it for Halloween. I'm like, oh, I'll get the orange, and I'm an Oregon State Beaver fan, we're black and orange. But at the end of the day, uh, I thought the red ultimately would kind of go with year round with more shave of the day picks. So I opted for the red. Uh, this is the B plate, very, very comfortable plate for me. Um, I didn't, uh, I didn't splurge the extra on the daily kit, which comes with the B, C, and D plate. But 
but I think this was about a hundred bucks shipped. Including shipping DHL. And it got to me from Canada and I ordered it on a Saturday. It came to me Monday of the following week. So was that seven, eight, nine days later? Um, shipping was really quick. I know that Carve's had some fulfillment issues in the past. It seems like they've got their stuff together now and that doesn't seem to be an issue. This is a super, super light razor though. Um, I mean, way, way lighter than the, than the brass, um, super light. So if, if you don't like really light aluminum type razors, uh, this probably wouldn't be for you. It doesn't bother me. Um, I definitely like the weight, but it, the lightness of this does not, does not seem to bother me at all. I got a very nice shave. It's very quick and easy. Um, the Holy Cow soap is fantastic. This is in the Sierra base. Um, I think so. There you go. There's a Sierra base on there. I know it's backwards for you, but I can read it. Uh, so <clears throat> anyways, this is what the pour looks like. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's a very, um, very nice and even pour. I've used, only used it a couple of times. I think, I think actually this might be the, it's only the second time I've used this one since Halloween of last year. All right. I'm going to rinse the face here. I just felt an area around my nose I didn't get. I'm gonna go back and try to clean up real quick. All right, there we go, much better. Yeah, this is a really nice scent. I like it. It's um, it's well done. It's kind of a, a, a complex scent. I think if um, I don't know how to smell to describe the, the scent of saffron. I don't really get a lot of tea either. So if if like a raspberry, the tea through were to throw you off. It's got nutmeg, but it's I'm really usually sensitive to like cinnamon and nutmeg and those things, but it's very well blended in there. So I don't really um, pick that up individually. So I think it's just adding to the scent. Um, but overall, it's, it's, it's really nice. All right, so let's, um, let's throw the splash on here. Give it a good shake. Very nice. Rinse the hands real quick. All right, that'll do it for today's shave, everyone. Thank you for tuning in. Again, I appreciate all the support. Um, congratulations to Tom, and uh, we'll see you soon on the channel. Hope everybody has a good weekend.